What's up Geeks 4x4? Today we are going to be back working on the 1989 Wagoneer. Uh, I did a couple little things. I just want to tell you guys before I started, they're just boring things. I tied in the EGR valve, the original one. I have not replaced it yet. I've got one sitting right there. I'm going to do that today. Um, and I put a new ignition lock cylinder. Look for a video on uh, how to do that here coming soon. Uh, so today I want to put an EGR in it and fix the radiator. I've got a new radiator sitting there, uh, new thermostat, thermostat housing, new hoses. Uh, we're going to redo the cooling system pretty much today. But first things first, I want to get the EGR out of there. It's buried and super hard to get to. You lean over it and when you pull, your face tries to go down on the stud from the carburetor and the bolt tries to go in your eye. So I gotta figure out how to do that without poking my eye out to loosen those bolts and get that EGR out of there. So let's get started. So these are so tight that I, I'm gonna try a pry bar in here. See if I can't pop them loose. I can't get enough angle on it. First one. Those are tight and rusted. Next one's gonna be fun. you guys needed to see that. That's just boring and man, it was a royal pain to get out of there. Uh, so I got coolant draining. I'm going to start pulling upper hose and uh, see what else I can get into here. So let's go. her off. Well, here is this 
uh, bypass deal. I think I'm going to replace it. It's okay. But uh, I got a new hose and I got a new seat. So, plus, I got a thermostat which is right down in there. And we'll see if we can't get the thermostat out of there. You got everything hooked back up and I'm gonna add some coolant. In case you were wondering, this is universal. Not quite the same color, it's what I had around. They're gonna work just fine. As you saw in the last portion of this video, we put a new radiator in the Wagoneer and a new EGR valve. A couple days later here, and I've been messing with it. The EGR valve, the old one, the gasket really did a number on the flat plate where it mounts. And so I'm having trouble getting it to seal, I think. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna start the, the Jeep up. It runs really good cold now. Uh, I can drive it around the block, doesn't die. It's, it's great, um, but as it gets warmed up, it just it's not quite happy so I got some starter fluid I'm gonna spray it around the EGR and see if I can't uh, prove that there is a leak there and then I got to take that off and uh, get my files out and see if I can't get that thing flat so see what we can do here
So it's that idle down and die that I'm trying to fix. And if you have any ideas on how to fix it, comment below. Let me know what you think it is. Like I said, it's got a new EGR valve. I've got, I believe, I have the vacuum system very much uh, minimal, minim, minimalized down to zero, pretty much. So there's a, the vacuum advance is directly to a vacuum port. The vacuum off of the EGR is directly to a vacuum port. And other than that, everything else is capped as far as vacuum goes. Just having trouble find, trying to get this uh, final little piece, but that idle down and die. It just You get it revving, revving, and then it, it won't idle after that. But as you heard, it idles just fine before that. So I just, I'm really at a loss trying to figure it out. I've got the little uh, door in here that stops to help it get warmed up here, the heat riser door. That's this uh, zip tie you can see that is wide open. And, um, yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, having trouble trying to find that exact little thing. I haven't rebuilt the carburetor yet. It's very possible it's the carburetor. And I probably need more fuel and that type of stuff. Um, but it does run, it does drive around the block, so it should idle down in my mind. So, anyway, if you know something about a Wagoneer in that setting, in that, you know, what I'm looking at type thing, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Just wanted to say thank you for watching today. We really appreciate it. We're going to see you guys next time when we work on this guy. Um, but for now, have a great day. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe and turn the notifications on and comment. The whole deal. We'll see you next time. If you're still watching, here's the start right after it. Let's see if it starts back up. So that's what I got. Let me know in the comments below. A lot of times it'll just idle down and be just fine. Most of the time it'll start dropping into that. Other thing is you can leave it idle for it'll idle for a couple minutes and then all of a sudden it'll just drop down into that and die. So uh, give me your suggestions in the comments down below. We'll see you guys next time.